Hello everyone, it's Dr. Sam. I'd like to welcome you to my Eye Clarity Podcast. This is a show that offers cutting edge information on how to improve your vision and overall wellness through holistic methods. I so appreciate you spending part of your day with me. If you have questions, you can send them to hello at drsamburn.com. Now to the latest Eye Clarity episode. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam and I want to welcome you to another Eye Clarity podcast. As part of our summit series, as you know, I'll be holding my second annual Whole Health Summit, which will be January 14th to the 16th, 2022. Today, we have a good friend of mine and she is a a just off the charts healer and teacher. Uh, she's living now in New York City, and I'll give you her bio. Her name is Alexander DeFacio. She's a holistic therapist, Reiki master, um, modern shaman, and I've experienced her healing firsthand. She has been trained in the ancient Ayurvedic medicine, initiated in the Amazonian shamanism. And um, Alexandra, I want to welcome you to the program today. Thanks for joining us. Um, how's it going? How are you? Thank you so much for inviting me. That honor to be here with you again. <laughs> uh, I'm doing well. <laughs> Very well. Good. Yes. Mm-hmm. Glad to hear it. Um, I know when you were on the summit last year, it was the most powerful presentation. And uh, people had such life changing experiences. Uh, through your teaching and uh, your presentation. And so I had to bring you back because people were like, oh, we need to work with Alexandra again. Um, So I've got a a number of questions from listeners. Uh, Some are mine, some are yours. So I want to move to the first question. And and this is from uh, Julie. And she's from Seattle, Washington. And she is really struggling with the news and, you know, COVID is back. And what she's asking is, what are some practices that can be done to help develop stillness? Okay, true, because prana, life force energy is through breath. And breath can calm down your nervous system and calm down your body. So ask yourself, what can I make me happy today? How can I be in stillness? And be the witness of yourself and see why am I so anxious? Because that's from the collective. But another thing, if the TV is being, is being affecting your life, how about just watching the news on lifetime, like in a, in a, in a, in a, in a daytime? Daytime, you're watching the news. Night, no. Night, you have to put some music, classic music, bionaro music, or watching something that's going to really nurture you, not make you scared. Because if you listen to the news before you go to bed, you get up in the morning feeling anxious, you know, feeling, feeling sad, feeling like all over the place. So stillness comes like, I give totally permission to myself to be in my stillness, in my silence, in my calm, in my peace. And you breathe that, you breathe that, breathe in your body and be the witness. Can you put yourself to observing what you've been doing? Are you like doing everything for everybody and you forget about yourself? Or make some, I honor myself today. I'm gonna make a cup of tea and I'm going to put some music, and I'm going to breathe into my body. That is a way to bring stillness. That is another way you can do, yeah. you can do a bath, too, like make a beautiful bath and go there for 20 minutes. Allow yourself to take 20 minutes of your time for yourself. You don't give time to ourselves. 
Yeah, so true. I mean, you're talking about self-care. You're talking about the breath. So important. We get under stress, anxiety. We watch the news. We stop breathing. And water, the water element, being able to soak in there and, you know, reset our nervous system and do a major mental reset. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for that. Um, let's move to, you know, I have an international following. So I want to uh, bring in this question from Terry, who lives in Berlin. So, you know, he, he writes me a lot and he, he says, you know, you live in a really beautiful place, Dr. Sam, but I live in the center of Berlin. It's really hard for me to find my center. Uh, how can I do that? What are some practices I can do? You know, first, align yourself with the energy of the city. Any city in the world has beauty too. And you use that energy because on a city that's much more energetic, sometimes can be more chaotic. Use that energy for your transformation. Tap into that energy for your transformation. I don't know if that makes sense. Of course. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So much openings expand, you know. But when you're in a city, you're like, how can I use the energy to move in my projects? Yeah, like align yourself, allow yourself to align yourself with the city, whatever you are. That is beauty mm -hmm. in everything. And if you are there, mm -hmm. why? It's because you have to be there. So learning with the energy of the city for your progress. That's great. Um, and, you know, we we have so many friends and family that live in the city. Um, you know, I've got a lot of friends that live in New York City, like where you are. And uh, I, I'm sure that, you know, with your clients and with what you're putting out for people, you're helping them align to the city because cities have such amazing energy, don't they? I mean, it's just the creativity, uh, the passion, the, you know, like you say, even the chaotic energy, we can tap into that. And um, that's great advice for him um, because we can just get so overwhelmed because, you know, nature is maybe not quite as, as there as say, you know, other places, but there's still ways to connect. So thank you uh, for that. Um, let's move to, uh, let's see, this is Lisa and she's living in Phoenix, Arizona. And she's asking a question about um, how to prepare for 2022. What are some rituals or, you know, ceremonies that, that one can do to get ready for the crossover? Yes, excellent. Uh, first one, I'm gonna suggest first for your house. Your house is your reflection of yourself. So, I, of course, you're not going to have the time to clean up everything. Everything that's old, everything that's broken in your house, out of the house before the 2022. Everything that's like, if you have a piece of a, like, a, you know, like anything that's broke, take it out of your house. And uh, I suggest for you to use like a sage and you can sage your house if you're okay with this, with the smudge, with the smoke. You can go from the first door and you can go clockwise in the whole house and you finish at the door. And keeping the windows open just to flushing all this, this smoke and this old energies. And then you can invite new energy in. You can invite the new energy bringing like white flowers, roses or plant into the house. That's a good way to do that. Uh, also invite the energy in your house uh, with music. Put some music that you love and bring that energy to the house. And then for yourself, I suggest that is a very nice bath that you can do for cleansing yourself for the year. I'm gonna do my tomorrow. So first you soak yourself just on a sea salt, like just a handful of, a, <clears throat> sorry, of a sea salt into the bath. Soak yourself for, for 20 minutes there. And then when you're done, you rinse the water and you have water flowers. 
put a petals of flour into a bucket with your lavender or a little bit honey and you throw from the head through your from your head all the way down so you're going to shield your whole body in water flowers so for uh, the honey is about sweetness so you can put a tablespoon of, of honey so to bring sweet in, sweetness to your life the flowers bring beauty beauty color color to your life so you can bathing yourself in that beautiful water flower as much as you can and wear light colors for the new year. Light colors is very good because you're moving the energy. Even if you're gonna pass a home, you can wear a pajama, but put something light like blues and pinks and, and whites and greens, light and soft. That's my suggestion for 2022 mm -hmm. and also 22 is about uh, pillars, is about to create a structure. What structure do you like to create in your house? So make a list, writing in your journal what you want for 2022, what do you want to be different in your life. That's the seat now for next year. Yeah, I mean, these may sound simple, but they're so profound and making a gesture, making a, a ceremony, making an intention mentally um, really sets the stage for what we attract and, um, and you know, all of the things that you're saying, such, such wonderful reminders. So um, I, I know, uh, I know she thanks you. So I want to move to Ali and he's from Toronto, Canada. And he writes me and he says that I attended uh, Alexandra's presentation last year and I'm not the same person. It was so life changing. Um, can, can she talk about her process when she uses the drum and she starts uh, chanting? Um, what happened? I don't really understand. Uh, but I know that I felt completely different. I wanted to cry after, and after I released that, it really changed everything for me in 2021. Yeah. So, Alexandra, what do you have to say? <laughs> so, uh, we are we are magnificent beings in this physical body. You know, we have to accept this, and uh, all the molecules in our body are connected to the universe and connect to earth, correct? So we are molecules of energies, frequencies and sounds. When I open myself to that frequencies and energy, my body expands all over the cosmos, not just on a planet. That's the way I feel because I bring all the intuition <clears throat> from lifetimes, past lives, parallel lives, and time and space. So whatever I tap in, and that's what I pick it up in my body, my energetic body, what's going on with the planet and with people and with everything. So that's the way I channel all my work. Um, sometimes I can come like, okay, I have a, let's go talking about love. And then I came here is about students. So like, you know, like I listen what's the, the collective needs at the moment and everything's okay. I'm not looking for perfection is that's the first one. If you want to be a good healer and healer of yourself, don't look for perfection. We are not perfect. Just accept whatever it is. That's the way you heal. Let's say, if you're sad, if you embrace your sadness, you give it permission, you hold the space for the sadness to come up and release. If you keep putting your sadness under the, you know, under the, the carpet and keep, oh, I'm happy today. I'm No, you're not happy. You're neglecting yourself. Be where you are, accept where you are for you to heal. If you have a pain in your body, I feel pain in my heart. Hold your heart. I see you. I feel you. The moment you acknowledge the pain, you're going to feel discomfort for one, two seconds. And 
you breathe through, that's going to dissipate. So I connect to the cosmos when I work. I really am in service. And that's why I think the, 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 the work is so beautiful because I don't pretend to beauty. Sometimes it can be super uncomfortable when I drum, when I play my wind chime, when I sing in, in light languages. What I receive is light languages, is the frequencies from everywhere, you know, mm -hmm. from the cosmos, from all of you. So that's why I tap in. That's why it's so beautiful. So that's why she cried because she was yeah. really something she doesn't know to know what it is. Just release mm -hmm. to create space. Mm -hmm. That's where the healing starts when you have space to heal, create space to heal. So that's the way I work. I work, uh, I trust totally my work. I see major transformation. And, uh, and you can feel, you can feel all over the world. You can feel the energy. That is no, the veil are so thin now. Whatever you say with your intention, you're healing. You're healing someone. You're sending message into someone. And just remember, we are not perfect. I accept your imperfection. That's the way we heal ourselves. Sure. <clears throat> Great answer. And uh, I'm here with Alexandra DeFacio. She's a friend of mine, holistic therapist, a shaman, and she's going to be one of our featured speakers. She's going to be doing a process at the Whole Health Summit coming up January 14th to the 16th, 2022. Um, we're coming down to the end of our, our time today, but there's a question that is, uh, I just received it, and it's from Bill, and he is an acupuncturist, and he practices in Portland, Oregon, and he wants to know what are the um, characteristics that one needs in order to be a healer? What are, what are some of the things? You mentioned them in your last comments, but Maybe, you know, what, what, are, what do people need to be able to heal themselves, to be healers? And um, so I think that's a really good question. What, what say you? We are all healers. Mm -hmm. We are all healers. First, you need to accept that and recognizing yourself. And again, we are unique. Each individual are unique the way you are. Even if I teach you how to do what I do, it's not going to be the same because you're unique the way you are. Like example, Dr. Sam, like you're a healer from the eyes. You heal people's eyes. You, you heal people's vision. You're a healer. This person, he's a compunctorist. He works on the meridian of the body. He's understand the energy in the body. He's a healer. He doesn't have to do anything. The only thing he did is to open himself and accept that he's a healer for himself and he's being contributed to other people through his work so they can heal themselves. It's simple like that. Yeah, it, it, it is. It's, and, you know, I think it's creating the space, safe space for people and um you know we both do that and there's just a you know a, a deeper connection as you brought in the cosmos part of that could be nature um you know how do you access nature in your healing what what are some of the ways that you do that uh i like uh, a lot of the sounds nature songs sounds mm. i play in the morning i play when i have a bath uh, I play when ex exercise. I I try to tap in, in within inside of myself nature because I'm nature. Mm -hmm. You know, sure. uh, love sounds. I love uh, you know even when you sing it to yourself, lullabies. Like that's a water, mm -hmm. water movement, mm -hmm. nerve movement. You know, we mm -hmm. are nature in this physical body. You are eat plants, we drink water, we are water beings. So mm -hmm. have to be only nature to be in nature. You can be the nature yourself. Mm -hmm. 
And I, I love music. Yeah, well said. Yes, I love music. Yeah. So crystals around me, I love crystals. Uh, I love my wind chimes. And again, everything has mm -hmm. everything has energy, correct? So whatever you mm -hmm. have, like in this beautiful place that you are, this the cedar from the from the trees over there. So they have this beautiful frequency in in tap into that. Your chair, your pillows, your clothing, they have all energy, is all made from organic element that comes from earth most of the time so it starts uh, to really recognize that we are surrounded through nature the moment you wake up in the morning the sun is already there for you saying mm -hmm. it's a beautiful day we have another day connect to nature connect when you drink your water put your intention to your water that's nature you don't have to be, you can be the nature yourself. And again, if you don't find peace and gratitude in yourself and love in yourself and life in yourself, you can be a nature and be the most miserable person. You can close them down and nothing happens. So be in nature. Be yourself in nature because you are. That's correct. We all are nature and... Uh... And, you know, the more we connect, connect to that essence, um, you know, we line up and we are in gratitude and some magical things can happen. Yeah. And um, Alexandra, I know you do private sessions, you teach workshops. How, do, how can people get in touch with you? Uh, you can be in touch with me through my Instagram, Green Star NYC, or through my website, Green Star wellnessnyc.com green star wellness nyc.com mm -hmm. so we will put that in the notes and uh, alexandra is going to be one of our featured speakers she's going to do a an amazing healing process with our community during the health summit uh so good to see you and i hope someday we can get together physically either in new york or santa fe yeah. And thanks so much for joining us today. I wish you the best and uh, to be continued. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. It's my honor to be part of your, of your, your tribe. And thank you. we're yes. in giving all this message to everybody who's ready for it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Right on. Can I do one drum for two minutes or no? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you drum for two minutes? That'd be great. Yeah. I, I was waiting here just to ah. breath and um, okay. Connect to the drum and say goodbye to the old, to the all the energies, the fear, the pain the anxiety to goes away and create this beautiful container to go into the 2022. Allow yourself to be you, to accept you exactly the way you are. I love you, I honor you, I listen you. I listen you. I blessing you. I loving you. I loving you. I loving you. You are one. You are one with nature. You are one with the cosmos. You are one uniqueness. Being. You are whole and complete. I love you, I honor you, I blessing you, I listen you, I see you, I see you. Moshisha Koreshita Yahu Papai Naya. Naya Shito Ishita Taya.
mai ocupa pai și ci da in mai ocupa o ia ocupa in a i și uci ocupa means you're you're unique exactly the way you are many blessings to you many healings to you love to all Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something from the Eye Clarity podcast show today. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to subscribe on iTunes or Spotify and leave a review. See you here next time. <laughs>